this person just dropped me a stack of diamonds. <laughs> and I don't know. Hey guys, it's Casey and welcome back to another vlog. I have a stack of diamonds in my inventory right now. Um, this person basically just gave me money. So that's really cool of them. I'm, yeah, that was really cool. <laughs> I was just here preparing my pickaxe. So I'm actually going to be doing a full on mining episode today while I tell the next part of my story because I want to see if maybe I can maybe focus a little bit more on what I'm saying instead of getting all distracted by building as well. So. We'll see if that does anything. Let me head over to the mine that I'm currently working at, which is this one here. I have recently leveled up to rank I, um, which is cool. When I left off last episode, I was talking about the computer that my dad brought me um, and that my mom allowed me to use once a week to do my schoolwork. And I was 16 at the time um, when I basically transitioned into it's like the next part of the story, basically. Um, my dad was working all the time, so he didn't have time to like take me out of the house and teach me basically how to sustain myself and how to live and that kind of thing. Um, so a lot of the lessons that he taught me really early on were things that I never used hardly ever again. Um, but the reading and you know being able to write, do math, I started learning sciences and, and a little bit of history and that kind of thing. Um, I was able to take a couple of classes online and that was really, really cool. But I was still just really alone. I was very much like, like it was just me. And oftentimes both of my parents would be out of the house. So I was responsible to make sure that I got all of my work done. And then once a week I could get on the computer and do my class work. And it was just really repetitive and really boring. But because of the computer, I now had access to the outside world. I didn't really start poking around until about a year after uh, my dad brought the computer home. He actually, um, don't tell my mom, my dad brought home a second computer, like a smaller like laptop. And that was when I made that little hideout that was kind of over the hill away from my parents' house. Um, and so I would go there every night, not every night, um, a couple nights a week. And it was through that computer that my dad brought me that my mom didn't know about that I found YouTube. Um, I started out, I don't even remember how, but I found B's channel and from B, I then found Straub and Grazer and the whole Cube guys and then Rusher and the Faction series. And it was really the Faction series um, combined with a lot of the vlogs that I was watching that made me realize that, that there was other stuff out there. I don't know how to explain it, but it was just like, oh, they had such interesting lives. My life was so boring. Um, and I didn't know what to do about it. And it was really, the, the more that I saw other people living these really cool lives, the more that I was like, I, I, I don't want to be here anymore. And I shouldn't have to be here anymore. My mom doesn't have to own my life. I was 17 at the time. You know, I didn't have to keep living there. Um, but I didn't know what to do, really. And this was, it was in April of last year, so almost a year ago, when I found the Faction series. And that was really when I got sucked into YouTube, um, really got interested in these people who were making videos and who apparently had really cool lives. And But then something really bad happened. Um, if you watched my first couple of episodes, I think I talked about it. I don't remember if it was in like the first vlog that I made, like the first official, like number one vlog that I made, or if it was in one of the intro vlogs, or I don't remember. Um, but I talked about it in one of the videos. When I showed off my father's memorial, um, like in the corner of the mountain where my parents' house was, um, my mom received a message in May, um, pretty early May, so... Yeah, almost a year ago, not quite a year ago yet, um, that, that my dad had gone missing. And they didn't know where he was, but they didn't think that he um, was alive anymore. And, um, you know, that was just 
really rough, really devastating, truthfully. Um, the one person that I had who was closest to my side, I guess, like he was still, I don't know, he at least would fight for me sometimes whenever he was around. He wasn't around very often, um, especially for the much later years. But um, then he wasn't around at all, and it was just me and my mom. And to be honest, she did a lot of really public grieving. Um, she was always out with her friends, and I was still left at home when she was out doing I don't know what. Um, we didn't really even have a ceremony for my dad. It was just kind of a, kind of a, okay, this is how life is now. Let's move forward. Except that my mom moved forward a lot faster than I did. Um, which I didn't really, I don't know. Um, I'm not going to presume to understand anything about my mom. Her role in the story is not done yet by any means, but, um, yeah, so I lost my dad in May. Um, physically lost, technically, because we never got word that he died. We only knew that he um, had gone missing, and he never came back. He never came home. I never saw him again. And yeah, that was that was devastating. Um, I had just gotten into using social media, but I stopped um, for quite a long time, about a month and a half. Um, or so, and then finally started getting back into YouTube again, um, because it was a really good distraction to be able to watch, like, the Faction series and know that, you know, there, it was, there was something else that was going on, something that could take my mind off of my own situation and all of that. And that's really how I got through the summer. I felt like I did most of that summer on autopilot, just, you know... It was the same old routine, and for once I was a little bit glad for the routine, just because the repetition was easy. It was easy on my brain, it was easy on my mind, it was easy to have that kind of consistency. My mom wasn't around hardly at all. Um, she was always out over this past summer, so it was just me all the time. Um, and. Yeah, it was just really difficult. It was really, like, I don't really have the words to to describe it or to explain what happened or to even talk about what was going through my brain at the time just because I didn't know what to say. And, of course, it's getting dark, so that's actually a really great place to end my story is right there. Um, I'll pick up in August, which, if you guys are following along, is when I started posting videos. So I, actually, I can rank up before I leave. Anyways, um, oh, that was a, uh, that was the rough part of the story. It's gonna get better from here. Um, it really is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for sticking around. I love you guys so much. Um, your comments are amazing and all of your feedback and just knowing that there are still people who are watching my videos and who still care um, You guys are awesome. And as always, we'll see what happens next time